Um, Gareth, three under-19 games coming up here at Inver Park. It's a, it's a real homecoming of, of, of a lot of ways for yourself and the team. Yeah, it's fantastic uh, to be able to bring the team to Lauren to play. Um, you know, really looking forward to it. Obviously, I've got the connection of, of being being from Lauren, and uh, listen, I've also got uh, Corey Smith and Sean Brown in my, in my squad as well. So that'll be nice, nice for them boys. Um, you know, facilities are great, and uh, we're looking forward to getting going. On a personal level, when you think of yourself at that kind of age and stage of your football career, 17, 18, 19, could you ever imagine that one day you'll be at Ever Park? facilities like this you'll be the manager of the under 19 national team and the way your career has worked out um, not really to be honest with you, you know I, I, I like I'll come home sometimes and I'll dig out old, old pictures and stuff and um, you know boys, boys will send me stuff of when we, we played here from Moy Primary School and we're winning cups and winning games and, and different things uh, you know my memories are the the turnstile at the at the river end there like we're, we were a quid and two of us were squeezing through the through the turnstile or when the ball went into the river who could get the ball and yeah. run off with it yeah <laughs> but um, listen uh, football strange you just never know where you're where you're going to end up where you're, where you're going to go um, as I, as I'm going through in the, this job there's 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 opportunities everywhere and and different things but uh, I feel it's important for myself to to be involved with the with the young players and, and try and guide them guide them through, um, try and help them have careers and stay in the game and uh, you know to be able to be able to look back on it and and uh, and just kind of smile really. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you know that that is a you know what, what you're telling us about your journey in Ember Park and what it meant to you you know that's the kind of message you're trying to convey to players at this stage of their career because there's so many variables I suppose in terms of some may go on to have a career in the Irish League some may go on to have a career in the Premier League or the Champions League but it's what they put in now you know where they could potentially end up nobody knows including themselves or maybe anybody else at this stage you know uh, yeah that's it listen the biggest the biggest thing is UVU that I tell the players and they're, they're, they're their biggest uh the biggest opponents they'll ever face are, are, are themselves making the right decisions. You know the commitment they, that they put into it, the sacrifices that they that they need to make. It's uh, it's an unbelievable journey, career that you can have, but it's one of the toughest ones that you'll you'll have as well. And uh, having lived lived it, walked the walk, gone late, um, you know there's a lot of things and. You know, kind of haven't haven't done it. It, it. it gets you a little bit more buy-in with the players that they they believe that um, what you're saying is is the right thing uh, for them at this stage. So, yeah, it's, listen, it, it's difficult. They're young. They're young men. They're young adults. They're uh, they're going to make their own their own calls. And I always think like they've got ability. And, don't limit it. Don't limit your ability um, by, by doing silly things. And uh, it's a short career. You're, you you know you still feel like a young man when you're finished. And um, for me, it's important to to try and give something back. And the squad that you have, you've got a you know a nice mix of players at uh, academies and, and professional clubs across the water. You also mentioned that the two uh, Larn lads. How important maybe is it to have players even at that stage that are involved in the men's game? They're around Irish League. They're they're playing games regularly and they're kind of getting those knocks and bumps and encouragements and discouragements. How important is that element as well? Yeah, certainly. That's all all those experiences and the, the blend the, the blend of guys that we have. Um, will really help them the the level they're going to have to get to the intensity they're going to have to get to when it actually comes to the finals here is something that they haven't uh, probably experienced before uh, any of them the first taste of that will probably be against Portugal without being you know, disrespectful to uh, Hungary and uh, Czech Republic who are really strong teams as well but you know kind of say and in, in jest that they need to suffer they need to know they need to know where the level they need to get to, the intensity they need to get to, and uh, these games now will give them that exposure. Um, 
and then going going into sort of March international window again. We can we can layer it up and uh, and get them ready and give them the best opportunity when the when the finals come in July. And how important is it for you as the head coach and the players that will be playing here to, to get the support of people of Larne, but beyond as well, you know, to get a real good crowd here to make it a home advantage at Inverpark for three games. I think so. Listen, um, a big thing for me for playing for Northern Ireland was. Uh, yeah, and a connection, a, a connection with the, you know, the crowd, a connection with, uh, um, a connection with home, a connection with Northern Ireland, and uh, that's a big thing, a big thing for the players. And they, you know, people, people come out and see them. Can they go on a journey? We're, we're talking about 2028. We're talking about some of these players with the possibility of being in the senior team by then. Um, let's go on a journey with them and follow them through their their career, follow them through their pathway, and. Um, you know, really, really help them. It's it's kind of something that we don't get youth international football. Um, it's something that I want to encourage for Northern Ireland supporters or or anybody to to come out and see the boys and um, kind of let them know what what it is and give them a little emotional connection to to Northern Ireland being a Northern Ireland player. Yeah, yeah. And people should make no mistake that you know these are future Northern Ireland players of the not too distant future. But there's also going to be some you know top European players that are no doubt going to be coming here at Denver Park uh, next week as well. Yeah, listen, they're they're from uh, the players that are coming. They're from from top clubs, uh, Champions League clubs all all over Europe. Some of them are some of them are pushing towards um, first teams at the at these clubs. So it's um, you know. Everybody plays FIFA and stuff and things like that. Our champ manager, they're maybe trying to sign these players. Um, come and see them in, in real life. But listen, we've we've got kids at uh, at top clubs as well. Um, big thing for me for for a lot of my boys is they're all playing. They're all playing at their clubs. They're all playing at a good level. They're playing week in week out. They're important players in their in their club teams and uh, you know to bring that form here. Um, to go against the, the the other top uh, top players from the other countries is is something I'm excited about. And just finally, there seems to be a real cohesive uh, connection between yourself, Tommy Wright, the under 21s, and of course Michael and the senior team manager. Um, you know, it's been proven that Michael's going to give players their, their chance, so he's going to be looking at players involved in the likes of these games and the 21s. And there's a real sense of, of progress and opportunity between the, the three groups. Yeah, listen, massively. The even I was in Italy last week with uh, the 17s as well, and there's two under 17 players that were, were really impressive as well, and I've selected them for my for my for my group uh, next week, and that, that's there. Listen, the pathways are there for for the kids. Um, I don't think he's not scared to put them in. Um, he needs to expose them to to that level of football at, sen at senior level, and. The good thing is they can see it. I worked I, with, you know, with Brody, Callum Marshall last year. They're now in the senior squad the year before. Isaac Price, Shay Charles. These boys are there. They're, they're good players. They're, they're, they're there on merit at the minute. And um, that's really good as, a, as an underage coach or manager that you, you can use that. You can show the boys the pathways, and um, both Michael and uh, you know Tommy will be here for the Hungary game as well. So they're looking in. They're looking into my group. They're they're listening to uh, to what I have to say and about the players that are coming. And I've got quite a few old sixes in my group as well. So they're a year young. So they've another year at 19s. And can we bottom feed? Can we get the players through? But the, I think the main thing for me is that we. We get them through, and they're big players for Northern Ireland. They're there for 50 caps, 100 caps, whatever. That's the that's the real thing. We want uh, we want to get the players through who are, who are going to be the backbone of the of the country for the for the next 10, 15 years.